All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today we are looking at this broken card. Like, oh my god, I'm about to, I'm gonna go on a rant. I'm gonna go on a rant. You you guys better fucking get ready because I am ranting in this video. This is one mowing next door. Card art is interesting. Just you know, of course the fucking upstart goblin. He's always doing his fucking bullshit <laughs> shit, being that top tier broken shit always. Like, some kind of weird dog. Is that actually a particular monster? I don't recognize it. I don't know. And then the weeds, uh, they look familiar, but I'm not exactly sure. You know, if you're not relevant as a Yu-Gi-Oh card, then you kind of fade into obscurity. So, I don't know. This might be relevant. But, uh, no, this card is fucking stupid. It's a normal spell card that reads. Really simple effect. If you have more cards in your deck than your opponent, send cards from the top of your deck to Graver until you have the same number of cards in your deck as your opponent. Konami, stop it. This is, is stupid. So, obviously, you know what you're going to do with this card. You're going to run a 60-card deck. What? Who the fuck runs a 60-card deck? You're fucking bad, right? Right? I get it, right? Whether I go first or second, doesn't matter. I play lawn mowing. If I'm going first, I'm going to go ahead and mill me some fucking, like, what, 20 cards? Well, of course, opening hand. So, draw five. Lawn mowing with 15 cards. 15 fucking cards. That's the top of your deck. Milling 15 cards? You want crack. Like... Oh my fucking god. And don't let your opponent go first. Then your opponent goes first, then they, of course they draw their opening hand, so that's another additional five. They play Desires, and hey, that's in ten more, you know. Uh, Konami, Konami, you really need to learn. Let, let, sit down, sit down, Konami, we're gonna talk. Why, Konami, do you think that milling is bad? Milling is good in Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, it, it, it's, it's freaking obvious that for some reason Konami is in this mentality that Milling is bad, so we're going to keep making these milling cards because I get it, I get it. You're looking at it, you look at it, and you take it at face value. This card's a neg one. It really is, you know? It doesn't net me any direct advantage. I just play this, and I mill cards off my top of the deck. Who, ever, who the fuck would ever do that, right? No, 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 no. Milling is good, and especially in some decks, in some plays, the fucking graveyard is like a second hand, all right? So... You go plus to the extreme. If that was the case, if that was the case, then wouldn't Monster Gate and Reasoning be higher? I mean, I saw you I saw you trying to move them, and then you put them back down. And I get, oh my god, Infernoids. Well, that's also your fault, because you made an archetype whose graveyard is like a second hand. So, but the point is that just the fact that you could just play those cards and just mill and mill and mill and mill. And it seems like Konami doesn't look at milling as that greater than the mechanic, you know? Which, of course, it is, it's, you know. In the right hands, that's it's, it's totally plus, and this card is in the exact same boat, where cards that are hit who have a milling effect, they're probably not hit for the milling effect, but probably milled for some other reason, some other shape or form. Because one perfect example you're probably thinking of, Card Trooper. Card Trooper is at two in the TCG. He has a move. That's probably because of Troop Doop Scoop, you know, where I summon a card trooper, and then I machine dupe it, summon two more card troopers who will all be, you know, 19 with all their effect, and then with uh, limb removal in this game, you know? But itself, maybe card trooper? I don't think Konami sees it too bad. It's probably more of the troop dupe scoop. But the fact that you're milling three, I mean, come on, that's great. You know, Light Swords, uh, they still got their uh, Charge of Light Brigade still hitting the TCG, still at two. Uh, you said Monster Gate and Reasoning. Uh, even Six Sense, even Six Sense. Think about it, Six Sense. Wow, yes, you call five or six and you draw five or six cards. Whew, that's stupid, bro. But in the same boat, in the right hands, if I call, you know, five or six or whatever, I call something else and it lands on a five or six and I mill five or six cards, okay, I'm playing like Inferno. I'm playing Dragon Rulers, you know? It's just like Konami, what the fuck? And of course, probably we'll get to him, but Minerva, Minerva Light Swarm, that adds more boost. Like I said, I already, I already addressed Light Swords, but I mean, it's generic rank four that mills three. I mean, she doesn't have easy access, so that's kind of rip. But if she did, we would, of course, be seeing decks of that where it's not really even Light Swords. It's just monsters who like to go through off in the, in the graveyard and do rank four plays. You know, throw a couple wolves, throw in a couple trick clowns, throw in a couple Felice or Felis, whatever her name is. Bam, you know, you don't even need JD. He's a boss monster, like someone. That goes to show you that that's fucking stupid. And then now we'll get to him, the king of fucking milling. The king himself, the one that for some reason, Kali thinks that they could just keep hitting Burning Abyss, hitting Burning Abyss, hitting Burning Abyss, hitting Burning Abyss, but never addressing the true problem of Burning Abyss, Dante. Come on, man. Like, for goodness sakes, CCG. Like, you, you can hit Burning Abyss in the ground. You can hit them in the ground. Like, next list, you could limit Skarm, you could limit Rhino, you could limit 
Terra Top, and there will still be decks revolving around Dante. Like, my friend, and I, of course, he's probably not the first one to come up with this, uh, and, you know, Cali Effect talk on it too, but there is actually PK Fluffles, where you don't play Burning Abyss. So, mm, nah, Burning Abyss, they're, they're, so, they're so broken that they need to be hit every single, single list, right? Yeah, mm, mm, yeah. The deck is actually really good. It's just PKs with the Fluffles, and you mill... Your 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 toy vendor, and you mill your wings, and you mill a pair, and then you use that effect, and you know it's just it's so dumb. They, just, they don't even fuse. They don't even fuse. You know this deck deck has just runs a whole bunch of threes, and it's Dante. As long as Dante remains, you know I I, I probably brought this up and I'm thinking of, in daily duels, but my friend in that deck he runs you know the troop dupe scoop, despite that it's not at full power, and what I just what I explained early in this video. He will still do the play because it gives you so nets you so much mill. It's just summon Terra Top, talk to Darnbar. There's a Dante without even conducting your normal summon. Detach mill three. Normal summon the card trooper, mill three. Machine dupes to summon the other card trooper. Ah, yeah, no. the, um, the machine dupe doesn't say that you have to summon two monsters. It says up to two. So so up to the max amount. So you could just summon that one card trooper from your deck, which is still good. Mill another three. And then if you really feel like it, instead of, you know, Letting those card troopers die or attacking with them, whatever. you could take those card troopers because, ah, of course, card troopers level three and make another Dante and then mill three. Did you just mill 15 cards in one turn? Did you just mill 15 cards in one turn? Well, I could do all that fucking exaggerated shit, or I could just play lawn mowing next door. Like, oh my god, fucking Konami, you really need to stop. Like, you really need to stop. I, I, it just seems that Konami's in this mentality where they think milling is bad when milling is good. Milling is good. Especially with that, like, PK Fire and Infernoids and etc, 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 where the graveyard is a second hand, all right? Where, yeah, I got my resources on my, my hand, my field, and, of course, the monsters and stuff in my graveyard, which allows me to float and stay in the duel a lot more often. Just, just, oh my god. So, of course, wait, we've been seeing this card wreak havoc uh, in the YouTubing community with uh, a couple of replays. Just oh, pl play it, mill a whole bunch of cards. Oh, it's Infernoids. Oh, it's, you know, deck cards like that like to go with Minerva and shit like that. Oh, you know, it's PK cards. It's just, it's, oh, I've seen it in Skull Servants. It's just like, okay, okay. You know, you mill the Mizukis with the, with the Solitaire and the Unizombies. It's just like, oh my god, you know? So, Konami. Stop. Stop. This, this card would definitely get hit. Definitely. Definitely. It'll probably get limited to one because it, it just mills too much, you know? Like, wh where do we draw the line? Where do we draw the line? It's just, like, if you want to mill, God, you can mill. There's easy access. Generic rank three. Generic rank four. Card is devoted to just milling, and it just seems like Konami's thinking, like, well, it doesn't net you any direct advantage, so therefore it's a neck. You know? I take le two level threes and make a Dante. That's a neck. Detach and mill three... There's no direct advantage, you know. At what you mill with with the cards that that's conjecture, you know. You could get a plus, you could not get a plus, but it doesn't seem like Konami doesn't look at it in that kind of view. They look at it as only directly. Lonoid, that's a neg one. You you want? I bet Konami thinks this is a piece of shit card. It might even come out common because I think it's a piece of shit card. But in the right hands, in the right play, we're smarter than that. And and we know as a player base that milling is stupid. Milling is fucking great as fuck. But Konami, they just look at the direct neg. Why the fuck would you ever want to do that? Why would you ever want to neg yourself? Why would you want to play Reasoning? Even even if I play Reasoning and you call the monster right, I'm playing Inferno. It's, uh, I fell on my graveyard. I don't give a fuck, all right? You called the Decatron? Cool story, bro, because I probably mailed, like, fucking 15, 20 cards anyway, you know? Monster Gate. I trip you off a monster until I get a different monster. That's a neg one. You know, so... It just seems like Konami... They, they don't care. They don't think that milling is good in the game when it clearly is, but I'm done here. I'm done here. So one more next door. It's, it's going to be stupid, you know. Now, whether people are actually willing to play 60 card decks and do that in the competitive view, you know, that depends. It depends. But I could easily see this card getting limited. Easily, you know. So... Anyway, tell me what you guys think about lawn mowing next door and just the milling mechanic in general, you know? Do you think that it's really powerful and, you know, Konami should stop doing shit for it and actually legitimately hit Dante? Hit him! Hit him, damn it! If you don't fucking hit Dante. Like, it, they probably won't. Next list, it'll probably be like Terra Top. Yeah, I think it'll probably be Terra Top. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, Brandless Prediction will probably be in December because I think the next list will be in January. So far, there's nothing 
too much of standing out. Actually, I, I really like this format, so really can't say too much. I mean, Dante is still fucking here, so seeing his ugly ass face is just great. But outside of that, no. But hey, ABCs are about to jump into the meta, so we'll see how they shake things up. So far, I like this meta. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Sorry about the rant, but I think it's justified. It's just so stupid, you know? Especially coming from a very conservative player like me, where when I see something is broken, I think it should be addressed. But, hey, not everybody thinks like me, you know? Some people are liberal, and then Konami just likes making money. So, hey, maybe this card will be secret rare, and it'll be the, you know, the side after card in the set, and you'll try to get it, and it'll be like 30, 40 bucks. I don't know. I don't know. So, uh... Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Next week, I, I know I said this week that I was gonna look at the fluffle cards. I kind of forgot, like the cards that these two cards that we looked at uh, today, lawn mowing and the card on Monday. I think were really important, and yeah, they kind of came out. So I wanted to get them, but I, I remember I wanted to look at the fluffle cards, so I'll be sure to do that. And uh, there's just so many things, like so many cards come out, and it's just hard to review them all with only two days. So, <laughs> and, I, and the sad thing is that's gonna get cut down to one day. So. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Thanks for watching, thanks for support, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.